The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. We need to talk to the guy in charge. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. You sure you don't know either of them? Never heard of either gentleman. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Christ alive! I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. We can flesh her down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. LAPD, all of you are coming downtown with me. and your hands in the air. Stay down. Holes in you, asshole. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. Stay in cover. Holding you out. Try the door at the end. I heard something. All right, all right. Don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas.
Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about Marquee Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Lightfall, the guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. So if I go over there and check his jacket, your story's gonna ring true? I'm warning you, Bigelow. Give it a try, Flatfoot. For some reason, none of my guys like to bring ID to work. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings you... Careful! You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Your money and influence will be worthless in San Quentin. If you don't go crazy in the first couple of months, then you'll probably get knifed in the chow line. Is that what you want? Save it for the suckers, detective. You'll get nothing from me. Gordon Lightvall, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Now where shall I start? With the two GTA suspects we had to let walk free? Or with the female suspect, who I am reliably told, slipped the leash with embarrassing ease? You just lost the chance to crack one of the biggest criminal operations in this city. How do you think that makes me look? The chief has my balls in a frying pan! Now get out there and fill some charge sheets. Misdemeanors if you have to. Get me something before I even think about giving you another case.